Hey everybody, it's Anna Morgana with you today on Adored or Ignore It, and I'm here with Jessica Crump. Who, you, she and I have a great, great lineup here today. So we're going to come straight to you and make it just right to the point. Hi, Jessica. Good morning. So how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. It's great. great. Hey, listen, we have got some good stuff today. We're going to we haven't seen anything, but we're going to preface what we're going to do today. Mm -hmm. We week. have plans. We yes. have plans. So, and sometimes you just got to make plans. So the first thing we're going to talk about, of course, is our movie. So we're going to talk about the movie and the movie coming up. We're talking about is bad guys coming mm -hmm. out and it's a, a movie. It's a animated animation. It has, um, you know, really nice voices. It's young voices. Sam Rockwell. I've heard of him before. And most everybody else, I have not. So, and a lot of these movies, they put famous people in it. But if you have a good story, you don't need a bunch of famous people. So perhaps this is a good story. Yeah, so, because there's not a whole lot of huge names in this, which I like. It's a bunch of like newer people. So, uh -huh. um, you know, kind of getting introduced. Right. So. And this is a universal product. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is Universal Studios, which is, you know, Dynamis. And uh, especially since I was there two weeks ago at the Universal Studios tour, it, it's got unbelievable access to everything. So their product is always a good product visually. Yeah. Usually, um, yes. Yes. And this one has been out for a few, uh, about two weeks now. And the, okay. the ratings are pretty good. So I'm hopeful on it. It's got 94%. <clears throat> that's mm -hmm. liked it. And that's a huge margin that other yes, seven percent probably from uh disney you know <laughs> yes i hate it i hate it you know so <laughs> it yeah, it, it's doing pretty well so i am I'm definitely excited to see if it's what i think it is yes yes so the premise is okay so the premise is a bunch of like bad guys and they finally you know their luck drop, runs out and they get in trouble and in order to not go to jail or prison or whatever um they have to fool that they have become you know model citizens or good guys now so um on the front of it it says um good is no fun at all so um that's the only thing that I'm like, okay, so what are we really going to portray in this movie? Um, are we going to actually become good citizens or are we still going to be bad and just be foolish? So um, I'm kind of on the fence on which way this will go. Yeah, because this is going to affect how kids, you know, of, of that age kind of really just absorb everything and they kind of take that as whatever they're doing. They're going to kind of adopt that in their daily life, you know, so yeah. if good is no fun at all. Uh being yeah. in trouble is no fun at all, all the time too. So <laughs> for sure, for sure. So I'm hoping we're going to take that route. Um, so we will, we'll know soon enough, but yes. that's my hope for it is that it is going to show they are going to change and um, that being good can be fun. So, yes. cause being in trouble is not fun at all. Yeah. Uh -huh. Cause they're, they're only reason they're turning good is so they don't have to go to prison. Mm -hmm. And they tell you that in the in the preface of the movie, you know, kind of yes. a little uh, synopsis of the movie. So that's kind of the thing in their route to get there. And then how the bad stuff still keeps falling and they're trying to resist it is what yes. I've seen in the trailer. So I'm hoping that they do become model citizens. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll know soon enough. And they use animal characters, of course, to always relay yeah, you know, it's lot hearted. Mm -hmm. So there's a snake, a piranha, a shark, a tarantula, and a wolf. So, yeah, a tarantula you know, is really weird to have as you know a character. A I character. thought so too, but it's a really cute little little tarantula. It's oh, very yeah. he's a cute little guy. It's so, so, cute. Um, so I think it'll you know we'll see we'll see. Well, let's hope she uses nair because I think it's a female tarantula, so it, <laughs> they're always hairy. So put the nair yep. on, and that maybe be cute. But other than that, maybe it'll be right. cute. So another movie we're going to be on the lookout for that's been around for a couple decades now is you know Toy Story, and now they're breaking off with the characters because so I got to keep it going. And the one that's coming out is called Buzz, right? Buzz. Mm -hmm. is it, it comes just out on Buzz. Two. It's just about Buzz and it comes out on June 17th. So I think it's just about how Buzz became part of the, you know, he came from this other galaxy and I think it's just his, his whole walk of walk of life um, is kind of what this Buzz character will be. But 
I think it's really cool because I grew up watching Toy Story. Sure. So, well, you know, everyone has, there's a whole Toy Story world at Disney, you know, at Disney. Yep. So right. I think it's really neat that they're bring, breaking it down character by character because then these kids are going to ask, okay, well, what about, you know, what about the rest of them? What about Woody? You know, what about Bo Peep? So it'll break me, give me the opportunity to kind of introduce all of those older movies back into um, the kids rotation. It's like, you know, I know Toy Story was such a big impact that I know two or three people. They have named their dachshund Buster because Buster. of the dog. I mean, I well, and I drive a Jeep, and it's really big in the Jeep community that they have the Woody hanging off the back, like you know, because in that movie, but it saves him from falling off the moving truck. So I've seen it a hundred times, you know, different forums, and even in you know people doing it where they have Woody like hanging out and Buzz saving him. So it's like. It's funny that that's still a thing, you know, and it's been decades. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's still, it's like we just said in the beginning of the show, I don't care how good the animation is. If the story is good, it's mm -hmm. good. And you had Tom sure. Hanks. Great. You know, he's great on screen and voiceover. He's just that great. And you had Tim Allen playing Buzz. Now, they don't have Tim Allen doing Buzz, so that's going to be oh. kind of the thing for the adults that know, grew up with Buzz. Uh, yes, it's a younger guy, so we'll, we'll see what happens. And, you know, and Tim Allen maybe decided not to do it, but there's, you know, just in one day you got to have somebody else do that stuff, and this is what it is. So, okay, so we're going to be on the lookout for Buzz. Of mm -hmm. course, it's going to be a biggie. Okay, so next week we're going to review a book. You, you're, we're right in the middle of a book, and it's a book mm -hmm. that I wrote, and uh, this is my second book, and I got another one coming out, my third one, but this one right here is my second one. It's called ridiculous nicholas and we can see ridiculous nicholas because he's got eight thousand things going on here so ridiculous just a little preface is not based on anybody i knew but some people i have observed before that just say stupid stuff just to get attention and so the whole premise of the book is yeah you can go be goofy and be ridiculous but people really want honesty basically you know well yeah, that's and I love that because Coop's about to be seven and we're, you know, we're starting it. And I like, I like that it has that because I feel like at his age, they are kind of starting to show out or yes. try to be overly funny or like mm -hmm. overly laugh at stuff that's really not funny just for like attention purposes. So I really like that that is just the baseline of this book yep. because I think it's just, you know, it'll be good for him to see, like, you don't always have to be, you know, over the top and silly. And you, you know, can get attention by being smart and honest and that's kind of the whole point of it so uh, that's what the whole point of ridiculous so I'm gonna have ridiculous Nicholas this is a series and I already started the second book for this series for ridiculous he's gonna be at camp and he's gonna be at you know the first field trip and he's gonna be at you know all these various places uh, that he's gonna be pulling this stuff but people it's still the same premise but uh, it's one of those things you just put them in different uh, scenarios and they're gonna do that it's like it's like anybody that has raised their child and they go on a sleepover the first time you're wondering, oh, I hope you go oh, he's going to do. Because that's a reflection on the parents. <laughs> 100% it is. And that's all that is. It's like, yeah, they're going to be a kid still, but still a reflection on.